In today's episode, we're gonna be doing a full QRL wallet walkthrough, and we're gonna show you the various ways in which to set up a wallet. The first of those being in the browser with a web wallet or a paper wallet, and the second being a hardware wallet with a device such as a ledger. And lastly, we're gonna move a few transactions in real time so you can see exactly how it works. What is going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of the quantum resistant ledger channel your video portal into the world of post quantum digital asset security in today's episode we're going to be doing a full qrl walkthrough we're going to be showing you a variety of ways to create a new wallet do some transactions live and with me for today's episode is my co-host michael strike our director of outreach strike it's great to have you with me as always back again Perfect. Uh, well, do you want to do, how about we start out by going through uh, QRL uh, wallet creation. I will do the browser web wallet, paper wallet. And after I go through that, is it cool with you if you do the hardware ledger wallet? Yeah. So uh, I'll run through the ledger and um, that'll give uh, it, um, you know our viewers watching uh, two different ways uh, with some pros and some cons as to uh, how to create a QRL wallet. And in a lot, a lot of the information will actually apply to um, you know other wallets as well too. So um, yeah, we can do that. Let's get started. Perfect. Well, I am gonna do a quick screen share and we will dive right into creating a wallet in the QRL. Let's get started. Okay, so we are here in the browser and we are going to be creating a web wallet. Um, so we're going to first go to wallet.thequrl.org. This is the by far the easiest uh, introductory way to create a new QRL wallet. So what you'll do is go to wallet.thequrl.org. Once we get here, we want to create a strong passphrase as the starting point. What I recommend you doing if you don't already have a way to generate strong passwords is just go to Google or whatever search engine you use go to what is called a strong random password generator. Once you're here, we want to select a strong length for a password. So I recommend at least minimum going with 16 characters. Once you're here, just scroll down and make sure that this generate on your device checkbox is clicked. This just makes sure that your password is not being sent out across the internet. It's not going to be um, it's just happening locally. So make sure before you hit your generate password, make sure that's clicked. We're going to generate a password here, copy it, and bring it back to our QRL uh, web wallet uh, creation tab. Once we're here, we're just going to be pasting that passphrase that we've created in here, and we're going to go down to the next section. And you'll see here that you have the ability to change the tree height. And in short, um, the tree height, this here shows uh, tree height 10, that there are 1,024 one-time signatures. So think of the tree height as in the higher the tree height, the more time it's gonna take because you have to generate additional keys. So when you're creating this, you can select any of these, you can select a really high one, but it's gonna take more processing power and take more time. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the default is a tree height of 10. That should work fine. Um, the same with the hash function. The default is the 128. Going with the default here is completely fine. So once we do this, we have our passphrase. We've selected our tree height and our hash function. We're going to click here and create our wallet. It just takes a moment. We are now presented with the save your wallet file right now. And this is really important. It's just kind of a, a warning note to say, hey, make sure when you get to this next page, you're not just forgetting about it and then you're gonna lose all your you know, private information later. That's really important um, for your wallet. So just hit the I understand part here. We are presented with your wallet details. So here you have your QRL address, your mnemonic phrase, your hex seed, and they're all here. And what you want to do is you can go about saving uh, this information, this uh, important info in a few different ways. The first way you can do is we can uh, save it securely and this will just uh, create a JSON file as you can see it right down here. And we can use this to securely open your wallet. Another way you can do this is you can save it unencrypted here. And if you, it's just giving you the heads up that, hey, this isn't the most recommended way. Uh, you can do that. Um, another thing you can do is use it as a paper wallet and you can write down 
your mnemonic or your hex seed with your passphrase and make sure that you have these written down in a place. Um, but whatever method you go about it, just make sure that you take a little bit of time at this step to make sure that you are saving uh, these details in a secure way so that not only you can find them easier later when you need to uh, access them, but you're not just uh, leaving a big vulnerability. So what we are gonna do is we've uh, saved this file securely. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna hit open a wallet here. We are going to, since we have that JSON file, we're gonna hit choose file. We are going to select it right here. What we are gonna do then is we are gonna take our passphrase that we already created and hit unlock wallet. At this step, it'll take a moment and we're just gonna open up directly into our new QRL wallet. What you can also do here is if you prefer to access and open your wallet in a different way, we're just gonna close this for a second and we're gonna to go to open a wallet. If you don't wanna do it via the JSON file, what you can do is you can just hit mnemonic phrase here and we're just going to copy our mnemonic phrase from my notes tab and you're just gonna paste that in here and you can unlock a wallet in the same manner going using your mnemonic phrase or your hex seed. So really whichever preference you have, all of them can unlock your wallet. I'm now gonna hand the screen over to Strike and he's gonna show you how to create a hardware wallet with a ledger. All right, so this is the Ledger Nano S. There's also an X edition, which is wireless, but for the purposes of this video, we're just going to use the S. So this is how you set it up. Welcome to the Ledger Nano. And we're going to set this up as a new device. Um, if you have a previous recovery phrase, you can use that. Um, and it will bring, uh, you'll be able to restore all of your wallets just from your recovery phrase. It's important to uh, make sure you have, always keep your recovery phrase, those 24 words uh, that we're going to create, um, because you can restore them on any Ledger Nano device and be able to recover your wallet. So we're going to do this. We're going to set up as a new device, and we're going to choose a PIN code. I'm going to just pick some random numbers here. We're going to do... Eight, seven, five, four, six, seven, six, seven. And then it wants you to confirm it. Eight, seven, five, four, six, seven, six, seven. Okay. Next, you're going to get what's called your recovery phrase that I was talking about. And the device is going to randomly generate this phrase. This phrase of all of your, regarding your, uh, wall, your hardware wallet is the most important thing. You cannot lose it, um, otherwise you will never be able to restore uh, your wallets if you lose your ledger or um, something else happens, so. Okay, so for the first word we have much. Second word is radar. Third word is gold. Fourth word is waste. And I think you get it, so I'm gonna speed this along a little bit until we get to the final word. Okay, so I've verified the uh, mnemonic phrase, uh, all, 24, all 24 words. So now we're going to press both buttons to continue. The ledger is going to say processing, and it says now your device is ready. Okay, so this is the main menu on the ledger. Um, so next what we need to do is install the Ledger Live app and on the, on the computer and install the QRL wallet. So let's do that next. All right, the next thing we're going to do is install the Ledger Live app. So we're going to go here to ledger.com, https, colon, forward slash, forward slash, dub, 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 ledger.com. Make sure you're at the right site. And we are going to download the binary for desktop live. We're going to install that. 
Yes. Install. And we will execute it. Okay, here it is. So at this point, what you want to do is take your Nano, plug it into a USB port on your machine, give it power, and it's going to ask you for your pin code right away. So the same pin code we created earlier, I'm typing it into the Nano right now, 8754-6767. And if you're wondering why... It seems to start off as a random number each time you select a digit. It's so someone, if it started off at zero, someone could technically count videotape or count the number of times that you're pushing the buttons. The numbers are randomized each time uh, so that it also randomizes the visual input so you, someone can't get your password just by watching you push the buttons. Uh, so I've entered in my password. My ledger now says is set the settings. So we're going to go to manager. And I'm going to push both buttons on the ledger. Right now it says allow ledger manager. And this is where you will install your crypto wallet. So I'll do a search for QRL. Just gonna install that. And right now it is uploading the QRL application to my ledger. Okay, that runs pretty quickly. Okay, so now on my ledger, I can see the QRL app. So the next step is we're going to generate the Merkle tree uh, on the ledger, um, and basically, which basically creates the wallet on the ledger. So let's do that next. All right, so the next step is to generate the tree. So let's enter in the pin. It's eight. Seven five four six seven six seven. Same one we generated earlier. Okay, and we're going to go to QRL and push both buttons at the same time. And that noise that you just heard was Windows letting me know that that it recognized the Nano and uh, that it's that it's coming online because it's plugged into the PC. So. What we're going to do right here is we need to generate the Merkle tree. So we're going to push, it says not ready. We're going to generate it by pushing this button here and then going initialize tree and then, and then starting. So what this is doing is generating your hash based signature tree. And it's going to take a little while to go through and do that because it has to uh, perform this hashing function in order to build out the tree. And this is one of the costs of being Pulse Quantum Secure. So we're gonna let this run and uh, I'll speed this up. So now that we've gone over how to create wallets in two different manners, uh, Strike, it would be a good idea, I think, now to send a few transactions back and forth. Would it be cool with you if uh, we ping back and forth uh, some transactions? Can you want to open up your wallet and uh, check, make sure you got some Quana? Yeah, let's do that. All right, so I'll share my screen here. Here we go. And I'm opening my Ledger Nano. I'm typing in the pin which we just went over. Okay. Reading from Ledger device. Uh, it's also worth noting if you are using a Ledger Nano right now, um, you'll need to run the local wallet from the website rather than the uh, web wallet. So um, I installed this uh, in the download section. Uh, so here is the uh, as you can see, the wallet opened right up off the Ledger Nano, and that's it. The private keys are stored on here. It communicates that through a USB API uh, with the browser, and that's it. Strike, in order to uh, send back and forth, that you don't have any, do you have any quantity? You don't have any I, quantity in there? Nope. Uh, this is a new account. Okay. Uh, I hear if you say quanta three times, uh, that might work with getting a few. Uh, we can try it out. Let's go uh, Quanta, Quanta, Quanta. Quanta, Quanta, Quanta. Somebody needs Quanta, don't they? Hey. Is that Jack? 
Yeah, Jack, yeah. Jack, is is that you? There? I heard somebody needs quiet. I don't know why I keep on appearing in these things. Uh, hey, so Jack. We, hey, we could use the help. We could use some help. Yeah, if you right. could send so us some quanta, that'd be great. We're, uh, we're live on a YouTube oh. video, so we want to, uh, we'd want to. we like to send some transactions back and forth. If you could uh, drop us some. Okay, Michael, your uh, address ends in 8F, right? Uh, yep. Okay. There's 100 quanta being sent your way. And Ryan, your address ends in 18? Yep. Okay, it's 100 quanta heading your way as well. It should arrive uh, within, uh, you know, five minutes. The block time is a minute. All right, All right. sounds good. My job awesome, here Jack. You're a lifesaver. Later. Appreciate it. All right, so let's do a simple transfer here. Uh, looks like Jack, our savior, is his 100 quanta showed up. So uh, this is as easy as it gets. We're just, I'm just going to put your address in there. Ryan, is that you? Yep, that is me right there, 18. Yep. All right, I'm going to send you, uh, let's see, I'm going to send you 50 quanta. Feeling generous today, Greg. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> and you could also add another recipient if you wanted to, but we don't need to in this case. So confirm and sign. Then on the ledger, you actually have to open it up and confirm the transaction. So I'm opening the ledger now, I'm in the QRL app and I'm clicking sign transaction now. Signing 10%, 50%, 70 and 100%. And that is because the uh, private keys are held on the ledger and you can't do any transactions without from the wallet uh, without the ledger. Okay, and now I sent. All right, so this is an appending status that's been submitted to nodes on the network. Uh, as soon as the next proof of work node finds a block, um, they should have that transaction transaction in their mempool, and we should see it. Oh, okay, that didn't take very long. All right, uh, Ryan, why I'm going I'm to stop sharing. Why don't you uh, switch over to your screen? Awesome. We're in my wallet now. Uh, Strike, it looks like your uh, transaction came through. Uh, let's uh, see it right here real quick. 50 uh, quanta, perfect. Um, I am going to grab strike. Is your address, does it end in uh, 8F? Yep. Perfect. Well, you sent me 25 back. 25, okay, I'm feeling a little less generous than you, but- um, I'm feeling more generous, I sent you 50. I mean, I'm feeling less generous, <laughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna send this to you. We are just uh, confirming, you got the really small fee there. Uh, hit confirm here. We're gonna be sending you back. Recipients here, click to send. Transaction details below. It's gonna take a moment, it's pending. All right, and I'm watching my wallet. Perfect, it should go through shortly. All right, so checking the balance here. All right, yep, I got your 25 quanta. Uh, that was pretty quick, a minute or two. And uh, easy. Yeah, super easy back and forth and uh, can exchange it really uh, uh, flawlessly and uh, a strike. I appreciate you kind of walking through some of these. It was good to kind of show people a variety of ways for uh, wallet creation. Uh, in an upcoming video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a video walkthrough tutorial on multi-sig uh, as well. We're going to be having a few special guests coming up on uh, our next couple episodes. And uh, if you're watching this and you feel like you're a little overwhelmed with uh, different steps or, you know, what a tree is or you know the hash or things of that nature. Just start out with a, an easy um, web wallet um, in your browser, then maybe you can move over to a hardware, but uh, really whatever works best for you. And if you have any questions, make sure that you either put your questions in the comments below, don't be shy, ask us. And uh, if you like this video, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Uh, and we're gonna keep coming out each week with new content related to our project, which is the QRL and the industry as a whole strike. I appreciate you uh, coming on today's call and we will all see you in next week's episode. Always my pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.